What is going on everyone? My name is Colin. Welcome to the Pokey Office. Uh, today we're talking about Astral Radiance over the last six months. It's a set that I haven't uh, talked about in a while now, um, but it, I just can't figure out Astral Radiance. Is it a great set? Is it like a mediocre set? Uh, where would you place it in your Sword and Shield rankings? Like there's some awesome cards in the set. You got the Machamp V Altar. You have the Starmie V Trainer Gallery card. You got the Garchomp Trainer Gallery card. You got the Origin Form Dialga and Palkia. Those are cool cards, even though they're not my favorite Pokemon in the world. Um, but then, I don't know, it just, Astral Radiance always seems like underrated. Like it's in between Brilliant Stars and Lost Origin, which are two of my favorite sets out of Sword and Shield. Even Silver Tempest came afterwards. So Astral Radiance almost feels like it's like the forgotten set out of the last four of Sword and Shield. Maybe that's just me. Uh, but that's kind of my take on it. So we're going to take a look at what the markets have been doing over the last six months. I was able to just buy a case of booster boxes from Astro Radiance for a really good price. So I'm really happy about that. But before we get into all the data, I have a couple of announcements to do. Number one, the winner of last week's draw is Cherry Baby 6797 Congratulations. Uh, see down below in the description for how to contact me. Uh, and then I'll send you four packs of Paldea Evolved, which is epic. Hopefully you pull that secret illustration rare Iona. Next, uh, the last week winner, PGF Menace, emailed me a few days ago and was like, dude, that's amazing that I won. I appreciate it. Thank you. But I actually don't need the packs. So give it to the next winner or the next draw. So that's really epic. Thank you, PGF Menace. Huge shout out to you for being awesome. That means that this week's giveaway, starting today is uh, I'm going to be giving away eight packs instead of four. I got eight packs of Sword and Shield base set. Hopefully there's that special illustration rare Miriam in here. Um, I've been trying to pull up for so long. I've had some really good pulls on it lately, but not that illustration rare Miriam, uh, which is frustrating. But I hope you win. So if you want to be entered to win eight packs of Scarlet and Violet base set, Make sure to subscribe to the channel, bell notifications on. Leave a comment letting me know about Astro Radiance, where you would rank it in uh, Sword and Shield era based sets. And then hit the like button for me. Helps YouTube just push my videos out to more people. I appreciate you all. Let's get into the Astro Radiance data and see what has been happening. Okay, so starting right off with the booster box. Uh, started at $115.92 six months ago. Jumped all the way up to 129.29, so almost hit that $130 mark, and now it's been slowly trending in a downward direction a little bit. I don't think there's been a reprint of Astral Radiance, but I mean, I don't have distributor knowledge either. But it looks like the market is coming down a little bit, as probably just in the realm of like there's been some Brilliant Stars reprint stuff, there's been some Lost Origin and Silver Tempest or uh, reprint stuff happening. So I just suspect that Astral Radiance is just seeing the results of that happening as well. Uh, currently it's at $119.15, up 2.8% over the last six months. I was able to buy a case of it for $950 Canadian, which turns out to be $160 Canadian per booster box, which turns out to be $118 US on a quick calculation. So I basically paid the current market price. That was including shipping and everything. So I was really happy with that uh, oftentimes. I find like I find that when I'm talking about this data, TCG player has this current market price. I don't know if it's always realistic. It's just really good to gauge like where the market is at. And if you can find a price close to it, I'd say go for it if you're looking for something. But oftentimes I find that I'm paying a little bit extra than what TCG player is uh, saying. That's my uh, that's what's happened to me, my experience so far. Um, the Elite Trainer Box Astro Radiance actually has had a nice increase over the last six months. Thirty-one fifty-eight is where it started. Now it's up to thirty-seven dollars and twenty cents, which is a seventeen point eight percent increase. The booster packs also a nice increase, nineteen point one percent. Started six months ago at two seventy-two. Now it's up to three dollars and twenty-four cents, which is still a pretty cheap booster pack. Uh, sleeved booster packs, kind of a different graph here. Started at three dollars fifty-four cents, spiked up to three seventy-nine and now down to 348. So in the grand scheme of things, even though the graph looks like there's been a lot of movement, we're literally talking about like less than 30 cents worth of movement, which is not very much. Okay, getting into the cards, starting off every card uh, above $10 is what we're looking at today. So starting off with the Palkia V-Star Gold card, uh, been trending down, lots of Astro Radiance as you'll come to see, is trending in a downward direction. Palkia V-Star Gold, 
started at $12.94, now down to $10.06, a 22.3% drop. Then we have the Choice Belt Gold card, uh, started at $15.17, currently sitting at $10.18, a 32.9% drop. There's a lot of gold um, supporter cards in Astro Radiance that are doing quite well, which is kind of surprising. Next, we have the Rainbow Dialga V-Star. Uh, a bit of a different graph, started at eleven sixty two, dollars hit a high of $15, and now has been coming back down. Now down to $10.73, a total of a 7.7% drop. Then we have the Machamp Rainbow VMAX, uh, started at $12.06, now down to $10.77. Then we have another supporter card, or a trainer card, Trekking Shoes, uh, started at $11.72, hit a high of $14.19, now down to $11.64, barely any drop at all, uh, eight cent change over the last six months, which is nothing. Then we have Gardenia's Vigor, uh, actually up 3.8% total over the last six months, started at $11.56, <clears throat> actually dropped well below $10 to $8.59, and now it has had a really nice climb over the last two months, up to $12. Um, I mean, a nice climb being a $3.50 climb, but still that graph looks pretty nice. This is a card that I think, like talking about that waifu tax once again, this card could do well uh, in the future. Like maybe it's a good time to pick it up for just $12. I don't know. You heard it from me first. So next, we're into another gold card. The Dialga V-Star uh, started at $12.56, hit a high of $15.58 before coming down hard over the last couple months, down to $12.18, but really over the last six months, only down 3%. Next, we're into our first alternate art V card, the Hisuian Lilligant V, uh, just been trending down over the last six months fully. Uh, $21.92 is where it started in January. Now it's down to $12.78, a 41.7% drop. Then we're into the Arita Rainbow card. Rainbow cards just have not been doing very good lately, it seems like. Um, I'm, maybe they just overprinted them. I actually think they're kind of cool, but I mean, they just don't seem to be holding well in the market right now. Started at $17.28, currently sitting at $13.16, down 23.8%. The thing that's tough about it is that these cards are not like that easy to pull, uh, and they're not worth a ton, which is hard if you enjoy like the buying, selling, opening packs and blah, 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 kind of of the hobby. Uh, Friends and Galar. Another trainer card uh, doing quite well. The gold card started at $11.91, up 21.3% to $14.45. Hey, before we carry on with the Pokey data, if you haven't heard yet, I just started a Discord community for the Pokey Office. So see down below in the description to join the Pokey Office Discord now and continue on the conversation. I'm on there frequently talking and uh, yeah, it's a great time. So join now, see down below in the description for the link. Okay, we got Double Turbo Energy. Uh, this one not doing quite as good as some of the other gold cards, even though it's still quite valuable. Started at $21.24, has leveled off and down a little bit to $19.58 over the last six months. Then we have another trainer card, Path to the Peak. Uh, started at $24.23, currently sitting at $19.86, which is down 18.0%. Then we, I talked about this in the intro, the Garchomp V Trainer Gallery card, a really cool one, but not doing so good. Down 28.2% to $22.24 when it started in January at $30.96. Uh, then we have a couple more alt arts to talk about. The Beedrill V, I love this card. I love that it's an original 151. I love the artwork. I love the colors in it, everything about it. And it's starting to become a price that I might just have to buy this card if I don't pull it. Started at $34.40, now down 35.3% over the last six months to $22.25. Are you kidding me? Only 22 bucks for a gorgeous card like that? Absolutely crazy. Next, we got the Sneasler V Alt Art. Uh, started at $38.91, down 34.3% to $25.58. So big drops uh, in Astro Radiance as of the last six months. Next, we have the Full Art Arita card up 11.3%, started at $26.71, now it's at $29.72. Another card that the waifu tax, I think this could be uh, one to watch over the next like two to three years as this starts to maybe gain some momentum. Um, I don't know, I just think that this card has a lot of the things that you're looking for in a waifu card. The, uh, the artwork is really cool. 
I mean, it's just a single girl on there. Uh, I just think, and the background, I think it, it's a pretty poppy card. I, I like it. Okay, next we have the Dialga V alt art, uh, another one that has just been like consistently dropping since the release of Astro Radiance. Started six months ago at $51.47, now down to $31.27, which is a 39.2% drop. Uh, both Dialga and Palkia have been dropping ever since release. And the artworks are legitimately really cool. Some of like the more interesting cards that Pokemon has come out with recently, but I mean, they just can't, can, they can't seem to hold their value. Uh, I just said it, the Palkia V alt art, uh, another really interesting artwork. It's so different than most of the other Pokemon cards that have been released lately, but just been dropping. Started at $47.65, now down to $35.47. Two cards left, one of my favorite all time of uh, Sword and Shield era, the Starmie V Trainer Gallery. Like this is my top chase card, even though the Machamp is more valuable out of Astro Radiance. Love this card so much. Love Starmie. I love Misty. Everything about this card is doing it for me. Uh, but down 7.9% over the last six months. Started at $39.16. Actually hit a low in May of $31.14 and has bounced back to $36.07. Which leads us to the last card we're talking about today, the Machamp V Alt Art. Um, doing quite well holding above 100, but it's uh, down... 8.2% over the last six months. So started at 112.96, went down below $106 there, and then spiked back up, hit a high of $117.47. I kind of thought that it was going to continue that upward trend, but it didn't. It came back down, now sitting at $103.74. What a cool looking card. Um, so we got to try and pull some of these. Seriously, let's open some Astral Radiance. I'll flip the screen around and see you on the flippity flop. Okay, so let me know what you think about Astral Radiance after seeing all the data. And if you already commented, maybe comment again or reply to your comment letting me know, like, what do you think about where Astral Radiance ranks? I wanna know, um, like, as of right now, I feel like it's a middle tier set for me. I did a ranking video probably a couple months ago, and I think I ranked it like number five or six, uh, if I remember correctly. So that's probably where I'd still put it. Um, Kind of hit and miss, but man, the two chase cards here, the um, Starmie and the Machamp, definitely I like those cards a lot. So I would probably freak if I was able to pull one, which would be sick. Um, I actually think we got something in the back here. Could be wrong, but you never know. The shininess doesn't usually lie. But Zamazenta V, there it is. Okay, well, that was our shot at the Trainer Gallery V card. Man, same rarity. Man, that one looks a little off center, but uh, a really cool card, actually. I think that's like, it didn't make the list of $10. I think it's about a $7 or $8 card, if I remember correctly. Um, so not a bad pull to start. Let's go. Let's keep it up. Keep it up. What are you guys at in terms of like opening Pokemon packs right now? Um, we're about, I think a couple weeks away from uh, Obsidian Flame coming out. It comes out on August 11th, I believe, something like that. Somewhere in uh, early August, I guess middle August. Um, and then of course we got people saving up for Pokemon 151, which is gonna be absolutely epic, I think, honestly. Um, yeah, but at the same time, we're in this like little lull where Japanese 151 has completely taken over. I think Peldia Evolved is being overlooked because I actually think Peldia Evolved is like a pretty good set, um, but not a ton of people seem to be opening it from what I can see. So I think it's definitely one to watch. Uh, moving forward, especially in the next couple years, as it is a short printed set so far. Um, and then, like, I'm still opening a decent amount of Sword and Shield era stuff just because it's so fun, and there's still lots that I don't have. Um, like, are you opening Brilliant Stars? Are you opening Astral Radiance? Are you opening um, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest, Crown Zenith? 
there's even still like it's slowly running out. I don't know where where it's like where you live, but uh, Costco here where I live just ran out of like the mini tins that had still some Evolving Skies, some Fusion Strike, some Astral Radiance, some Brilliant Stars. So there's still like a lot of uh, Sword and Shield stuff that is pretty fun to open. We got a regular art here, a Luxray V. There's our second hit of the video, not too bad. Um, so Pokemon's in a funny place right now, I think. Like it's been so hot since um, since COVID, and then now 151's coming out. There's scalpers like crazy. There's <clears throat> tons of content being produced on YouTube uh, and all sorts of different places. There's ripping ships happening all the time. Is Pokemon gonna be able to stay hot? Are you serious? Is Pokemon going to be able to stay hot, or is it going to go through, like, a bit of a downturn here in the next year or so after 151? Like, I'm not really concerned because I love the hobby. Uh, I think I'm going to stick around for a long time. I'm not sure that everyone will, because after 151, Gray, Radiant Green Ninja, nice. I was actually just talking on Discord about this card. Apparently it matches really well with... Uh, one of the the Chien Pao from Paldia Evolved, I believe. Um, a cool looking card for sure, for sure. I got to start learning the TCG. Anyways, what I was saying, the 151, like, I just feel like there's not a ton to get excited about after that. Like, that is the climax of Pokemon for me. <laughs> um, so it might be tough. It might be tough. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to be leaving anytime soon. I'm enjoying the hobby so much. Wanting to learn the card game to actually like get a different take on some of the cards and why they're valuable. Gardevoir and oh baby, come on. This is the shot. This is the shot we need. Three, two, one. Uh, I mean, nice pull, but dang. That was the shot. We got a Jirachi V full art and a Gardevoir. Double banger pack. That, uh is actually pretty nice. Pretty solid pack. It's five pulls out of nine packs with the shot at the full art. Man, that's actually a really cool looking card. The artwork really pops. I like it. Um, not too shabby. Not too shabby, but not the Machamp. My heart definitely skipped a beat there for a couple seconds. This is the last pack. Let me know anything and everything, your thoughts on what's going on. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, just going to keep coming out with content. Keep it going. This is the last card in 3, 2, 1. Cleaver. It would have been better to like switch those last two packs to have last pack magic with the full art Jirachi chance at the altar. This is what we pulled today, the Jirachi V full art. Or, yeah, full art. That's what I'm trying to say. Then we got the Gardevoir Trainer Gallery, a Luxray V regular art, a Radiant Green Ninja. What a cool looking card actually. Like one of the cooler looking Radiant cards, I think. And then in our first pack, we pulled this Zamazenta V Trainer Gallery card, a really nice hit for sure. That's gonna do it for me at the Pokey office. Uh, my name is Colin, I appreciate you all so much for watching. If you haven't done so yet and wanna be entered to win eight packs, not four, eight packs of Scarlet and Violet base set. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, the bell notifications on, hit the like button, leave a comment letting me know what you think about Astral Radiance. Appreciate you all so much. Thank you. And until my next video, peace.